Here at Matrix, we spend a lot of time, money and effort developing new products, not only to help you catch more fish, but products that we are happy to use ourselves. Two of the new latest products are products that I've had a lot of input into the actual design and development of them. And the first one of those is the HX Pro Reel, which is something I've used for almost a year. And the second are the new plastic feeders. Having the opportunity to be involved with product development is something that I'm incredibly passionate about. When I left school all those years ago, that was an area that I went into, into college and university to study product development. And here I am now doing it firsthand, but as an angler. Almost two years ago, we attended a product meeting down at Fox headquarters, and that's where a number of the consultants, along with the brand manager, sat around the table and just had a look at what kind of possible products we could be bringing out literally two and three years in advance. And that's how far ahead we are actually looking when we're talking about product development. As you can imagine, you know, when you've got a group of consultants that are from different backgrounds, they fish different venues, they fish different styles of fishing, everybody has got their own little way of fishing. Myself, for example, I get to spend my days in beautiful surroundings like this. However, some of the consultants sat around that table only ever fish commercials. They might have a maximum cast of 30 metres where they're fishing for carp. So by sitting around a table, as a group, as a product development team, we all bring things to the plate. When we sit around a table, we put all those ideas together, and that is when we draw up a list of products that could potentially be developed over the next couple of years. Once we have an idea on paper, that is when it then gets handed over to the incredibly skilled CAD team at Fox. Those designers there need then to take that idea from a piece of paper and create it digitally. Only then, once they've got a digital model of that product, that they can then use that to create a 3D model. That 3D printed model is then something that we can physically hold, we can see the product, and that is where we can get a better understanding of how big it actually looks, what the dimensions are like, and that is when we get the first kind of look at that idea after it's been brought to life. Once we are happy with the 3D printed models, it's then up to the supplier then to actually provide us with some samples. Those 3D models will get sent away, they will go to the supplier, and the next step then will be when we finally get our hand on the first samples. That is when the products get handed over to anglers like myself and the consulting team at Fox, where we will go out there and put the tattle through its paces. That is what it's all about. And that stage is a stage that is absolutely critical. You know, that is when you actually find out if that product is actually gonna live up to all the expectations that you hoped it was going to do right at the, the initial stage. This is a time when we just need to get on the bank, fish with the product as much as we can in a, as much of a realistic environment as we can, because that is when it's gonna show you any sort of flaws or problems with the design. Once we've spent many, many hours out on the bank putting these products through their paces, that is when we then need to report anything, both positive and negative, back to the brand manager and the design team. That is where we will obviously highlight any areas or anything we may need to change about the product. We also highlight the positives as well, because sometimes it's amazing how when you see a model of a product that until you actually see that product and try it out it's amazing sometimes how it highlights things that you never would have imagined happen you know sometimes things get overlooked 
in the design stage. And this is where it's absolutely critical that anglers like myself and the consultants are very, very honest about putting a product like this through its paces. If it's not up to scratch, that is the one and only stage really where it needs to be flagged up because that's where changes need to be made. Once we've reported back, the brand manager pulls all the feedback from all of the consultants and has a look at where things can be changed. So once the brand manager reports that back, makes any necessary changes, and that is when we might then need to go back to the supplier and say, can we have um, a, a different kind of a sample, a sample that's upgraded with the changes, and sometimes that process, it may happen three, four, five times. It depends how many changes need to be made. And ultimately, after all that process is complete, we are then happy and we agree that the product is as good as it can be. It's a product that we're gonna be happy fishing with. It comes in on budget, which is obviously massive. And once the design team are happy with that, once the brand manager's happy, once the CAD team are happy, it's then a case of the brand manager going back to the supplier and placing the initial orders. And this process can take a long time, as you can imagine. There are a lot of people to to liaise with. There are obviously suppliers to liaise with, but this process can easily take two years, you know, but that is because we are only gonna be releasing products that we are 100% happy with. So as you can see, this is a very lengthy process, but obviously we, are ultimately trying to design products that we're happy with and hopefully they're going to be products that you're happy with too. It's a process that is continually ongoing. Right now at the time of filming this we are developing products for in two years time. You know it's a constant process and that is why we are sure that we are developing products that are going to be great value for money but ultimately they're going to help you catch more fish.